Religious freedom is a fundamental human right. International covenants, declarations and modern constitutions guarantees people this right. In spite of this, religious freedom is fast declining around the world. In some countries, the state takes the lead in suppressing the faithful. They impose bans on particular faiths, prohibit conversion and restrict religious practice. In other countries, the people make their societies unfriendly to minority beliefs. Harassment, intimidation, violence and even murder are used to silence them. According to research, 80% of all religious persecution is against Christians. This makes Christians the most persecuted religious group in the world. Godfrey Yogaraja, the executive director of the World Evangelical Alliance Religious Liberty Commission states that more than a hundred million Christians face persecution daily for their faith in Jesus Christ. In countries like Eritrea, Iran and Sudan, countless Christians languish in prison for their faith. In Pakistan, India and Nepal, Christians face discrimination and marginalization because of their faith. In Sri Lanka, pastors are beaten and harassed for their faith. In places like Iraq, Syria and Nigeria, Christian families live in constant fear of violence and death. As fellow Christians, we cannot keep silent. We cannot forget their plight. The Bible tells us in Hebrews 13.3 to remember those in prison as if you were their fellow prisoners and those who are mistreated as if you yourselves were suffering. Today, Christians around the world are busy helping the needy, serving the poor, feeding the hungry, sheltering the homeless and aiding the sick. This is wonderful, but can we, today, take a moment and think of those who face persecution because of their faith. They are our brothers and sisters in Christ. This November, you have an opportunity to stand with them, to be one with them, and to pray for them.